Welcome to a special episode of Friday. Well, actually, this one's probably not going up on Friday, but a Pike's Peak episode. It's going to be a big collaboration, but I'll get into who we're doing the collaboration with later. But for now, we're going to go ahead and create this car. So the rules I set is for a 1916 Pike's Peak, which is the first year Pike's Peak was ever run and it was on gravel. So this is going to be a gravel race. And this is the sort of car that we're making today. So we're going to set it to the earliest year, which is unfortunately only 1946, but we'll do that anyway. We're gonna have quality sliders only able to be less because these cars are gonna be quite trash. Steel and ladder because they are very heavy vehicles for being not much of a vehicle at all. Leaf springs all around, as you see here, they got leaf springs and they basically have no shock absorbers. So the max dampers are gonna be set to only 0.4, though I wish I could set them to less, but I don't wanna have to edit that in JBeam files. You can have any engine configuration, but it has to be the maximum size. So the idea is that it has has to be a plane or a tank type engine that's repurposed into a vehicle. And this is gonna be a push rod head with minimum compression and cam profile. So this is gonna be a low revving, low power engine. It's basically just going to be absolute hot garbage of an incredibly heavy engine. Also a two speed, so it'll be a manual. Hopefully everyone picks a manual. And the narrowest, thinnest tires you can see, as you can see here, they got really incredibly narrow, narrow tires and the smallest brakes possible. So these brakes are going to be atrocious. So the first thing I want to do is I want to get an incredibly long and incredibly narrow car. It's something that will be able to take the biggest engine possible. So we're not going to probably go with any of these. These are a little bit too old. So these are 1930s apparently. You know what? Yeah, now we might actually go with this. A 3.2 meter long vehicle that's not very wide. Yeah, we're going to go with one of these and we're going to make it into what we need it to be. So it's going to be steel. It's going to be a ladder chassis and steel again and a massive front longitudinal engine solid leaf and solid leaf because this is the old old era car now if i'm telling the truth i love this engine made by ford but it's a very weird tank engine this is a 60 degree flat plane 32 valve va but it's it's 60 none of this makes any sense this is so weird what it is is actually a chopped down v12 but this is almost funny how weird this engine is. Unfortunately, we can't replicate this. See, if we select 60 degree, we only have a V12 as an option. So we can't exactly do that one. But I want a V12. We could go a V16 and just be absolutely moronic, but I don't think we will. I think, yeah, we're going to go with a V12 and it has to be maximum size. So we're going to get the 16.2 liter V12. And this is probably going to be a plane engine. So push rod, cast iron, more cast iron, cast, cast, cast. God, I want to go heavy duty cars, but that'll drop my RPM too much. All that compression gone. All that cam profile gone. Oops, got it set to 2012. My bad. Now we have the right selections there. No turbo, obviously. All of the carburetors. We're going to need all of them. Six carburetors. That's one carburetor per two cylinders. And then we're going to select probably a standard type in. No, a performance type one. They should know that opening up the air would make it more powerful. Then a low quality fuel. Wait, did I tell them that it had to be low quality? Low quality fuel only. Good. Yes. Okay. So I did get that right. Then the RPM, we're probably gonna have to lower that, but we'll see how that goes. We'll go with car slog because that's heavy and that's what you would expect. And absolutely no mufflers. Knocking 100%. Oh dear, I am knocking so much. I don't think I'll be able to make it not knock. Oh no. Oh, 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 no. Knocking is still happening. It's still happening. Oh, we're knocking in. We can't help it. Oh good. Okay, we can have a bigger exhaust. Unfortunately, the car is making too much power. So that means that I have to richen it out to make sure Oh. <laughs> So now the thing is running way too rich. So then hopefully the engine won't destroy itself. That is so dumb. I, <laughs> I've never had to make an engine richer. <laughs> to make it less powerful enough. That's hilarious. Okay, from this absolutely ginormous 691 kilograms, that's nearly 700 kilos of just the engine alone, at a maximum of 2,900 RPM, we're creating 152 kilowatts, but a ginormous 629 horsepower. And all for a low, low cost of 16.2 liters of engine. <laughs> Oh boy, Larry, let's get this one a bit of a listen, shall we?
god, that sounds like an airplane engine. It's fantastic. All right, how do we paint this up? Gonna get the engine block like a hey, the sort of color you would expect. How about a green? No, that's too vibrant. How about like a British racing green kind of green? There we go. Now it looks military. Oh, that's sexy. Look at all those carburetors, man. That's crazy. All right, which body? One of these is gonna be heavier than the rest. I get the feeling it's some sort of convertible that will weigh the most. So probably this one anyway. And then we're gonna basically hide the body in chassis anyway and make our own chassis. This is going to be a rear wheel drive. Hold on, set to the wrong year. There we go. A two speed. That's probably gonna have quite a high top speed, really. And manual locker. We'll, we'll stick a manual locker on there, yes. And chunky off roads. And then have them set to narrow. Wait, oh, there's a glitch. I can't set the front wheels to... Oh, there we go. Now I can set the front wheels to narrow. And we don't want this weird looking offset, so we're going to do that. And then we'll change the wheels anyway. So the question is, do we go with wooden wheels, which is what I want, which are hard to replicate, or do we just go with wire wheels? Here we go. Those look like they're meant to be wood. There we go. Steel belting with a wooden inner. That looks about right for this era. I like it a lot. Now, how does offset work with these? Oh, okay. It just changes the hub offset. That's fantastic. That's the way it should have always been. I don't know why automation does it a different way. There we go. Very narrow. Oh, I wish it could be a lot narrower. And moving on. Brakes. Small. That's, that's correct, right? Smallest brakes. No matter what. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be horrible. Do we want an off-road skid tray? Probably yes. Add that extra weight too. Brake airflow, we can turn that up though, because this is going to be really, really brake airflowy. Cooling airflow, we can... You know what? We want this to overheat a little bit anyway, so maybe we won't turn the airflow up a lot because it is going to be running off of a really old school radiator tile uh, type, uh, type style type design. My brain works, I swear. I don't know which one weighs more, but we're gonna have a basic bench seat. No entertainment, obviously. Wait, no, actually, that has to be handmade, doesn't it? Yeah, because they would have been handmade. No safety. I mean, what is this? We have front tires blow out, so that's a problem. Dampeners down to minimum. Oh, we're going to select race and then down to minimum. Now, we're going to leave the dampeners on minimum, but change the springs up to be over race. All right, just to be able to get this to finish, we're going to have bigger tires so then they won't pop so much. So we do have information now. Unfortunately, we can't have this one be very symmetrical. So we're going to aim for somewhere in the middle. And they're both over race, so we should be pretty good. Oh, boy. This is, this is gonna be a hard one to handle. I swear to God. All right, time to make these tires really small and narrow. Oh God, these can go really big. So basically what the tires were back then were not so much what we think of tires today. They were basically just a rubber slab that was wrapped around. Though these ones do actually have air in them. So maybe I'm wrong, but we got 45s on there. So that's cool. Maybe we'll go with something like that. A little bit more rubber there. Though it does look a little too much like a wagon. All right, so they look fairly like wooden not huge so maybe we shouldn't go huge at 75s front and rear sounds good to me how do our brakes look absolutely horrific <laughs> Oh dear. Oh god. All the brake bias is to the front and it's still horrific. That I suppose, what do you expect? Our top speed they reckon is somewhere around 166. That should do it. 25.4 seconds to 100. That doesn't sound right, but whatever. It'll be good. All right. I think we have designed as much as we can for this car. For some reason, the engine doesn't meet up with the transmission and that irks me. So we're gonna have to do something to cover that up, I reckon. Let's first start off by making chassis rails. There we go. That's how chassis rails are, just two straight beams, correct? There was no safety back in the day, so this is basically it. No crumple zones and no nothing. The crumple zone was your face against the steering wheel. <laughs> Which was being pushed towards you, by the way, because it was a straight beam, basically, most of the time, straight to the steering wheel. So then when the front of the car would crash, that beam with the steering wheel attached would push right into your face. It was fantastic. I think this is coming together quite well. We've got our brass bronze kind of looking radiator up the front. We've got a temperature gauge sticking off the side. Got our filler cap on top for our huge reservoir that won't actually do any proper cooling. And we've got it all sitting on our chassis rails and we've got our transmission kind of hidden. The fact that it doesn't line up to the engine. I would have liked to have had that exposed, but on the sides that is, but yeah, you just can't really get away with that because of the whole transmission issue. Do I have good venting for the side though? I like something like this or this actually, yeah. Let's go with this on the side. There we go. I think that'll have to do instead. Now to put in some hinges. 
There we go. We now have a hinge lines looking so much better as we go along. Now, basically these cars a lot of the time were just an engine box with a, uh, a seat attached to it with uh, all attached to the chassis rails. That was it. There was nothing else. There was nothing special. That was it. So that's what we're going to go with as basically our design. Unfortunately, this drive shaft doesn't meet up with the thing here, but we have a solution. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the 3D modeling afterwards. I'm going to delete the drive shaft. I'm going to have this come out and it's going to attach to this little doodad we're about to attach to the side. Oh yes, that is exactly what we like to see. Now let's line this up with a differential. There we go. Hmm, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'll have to move this around a bit. There we go. Getting there, we're doing pretty well. You know what I didn't do with the engine? Oh, I could have gone heavy duty cars and dropped that RPM down. Now I can have more power if I wanted. Not that I'm gonna be able to do anything with the power anyway. Wow, nearly 200 kilowatts. That's substantial for this day and age. But then we're running into crank braking issues and we don't want that. We wanna have an engine which is designed for an airplane that can last that long. All right, time to put some seats in. So as you can see here, we've made this a part of our Ace brand. It's got a crank which goes through the radiator, which was kind of common back in the days. So maybe I'll make uh, some sort of plug there to make that look a little bit better. Uh, and you'll break your wrist if you try to turn the vehicle on, which was also very common. We got twin lots of uh, like these flamethrower type headers on there. Though I know I did go with a cast log. I just wanted to add more weight if I'm honest. We got a big engine area. We got the hinges on it, all that kind of stuff. We got our really weird steering column which used to exist back in the day. Got our chain drive, got a couple of gears, a couple of levers, got more levers and a pedal, all different sorts of things. So I'm gonna say that this is the accelerator. This is the, probably something to do with like adjusting the ignition maybe on the engine or maybe the fuel mixture. This is the clutch engage and disengage. And this is the changing of gear section. And then for the parking brake, you'll just have a couple of chocks somewhere, maybe tucked under the seat there. You'll just chock the wheels when you wanna park. <laughs> Oh, you know what? Maybe I need another one for brakes. Yeah, let's do another one for brakes. <laughs> <laughs> this, I do love the idea of like these old cars having like a million levers and you look at them now and you're like, how do you drive this? There we go. This one kind of sticks out at a wonky angle. So then you have to like kind of reach back and pull on the brake lever. <laughs> there were so many, like there were vehicles were so unique. There were ones with a clutch engage and a clutch disengage. There was a paper driven CVT back in the day. So many weird different things. So I don't think this is too crazy of an idea. I suppose now we just maybe stick a few more gauges on here to fill on this kind of vacant looking area. Maybe we'll have a few switches on there actually. These could be to turn on the magneto and everything that's in the engine. So that uh, is right. Pretty sure they would have used magnetos back in 1916 instead of distributors. There we go. We can say that this one is maybe a speed or RPM sort of thing. And these are like temperatures per bank. Maybe we'll want a voltmeter as well, actually. There we go. Really wonky gauges. Perfect. I think we have what we want. Do they have windshields? Not by the looks of it, just leather straps, really. What about the example? Yep, leather strap. Well, I don't have what it requires for a leather strap, so we won't do that. But I think I'm pretty happy with what we've designed here. Oh, this thing is going to be absolutely dog shit terrible. And it's going to be called the Ace Grundle. Oh boy. All right, let's go take this over and do a little bit of a test run before we take it to the actual race day. All right, here we go. We got our car in. It's got a lot of body flex for some reason. I'm not sure why. So we've got pretty much everything is coming except the steering wheel is the wrong color, which I should have known that was going to happen. I should have accident. I uh, should have actually fixed that beforehand. The chassis rails have come out a weird color. The front grille, unfortunately, hasn't come out the bronze color I want, and I don't exactly know how to fix that. I believe this is an automation issue. We're just going to give this thing a bit of a test drive up the road to see how it goes. Oh God, this is not good. The steering is inversed. What the hell? Why is the steering inverse? Oh god, we're, oh, we're gonna have to fix that. 
Oh, and it's very bouncy. Like, a lot more bouncy than what I was expecting. All right, I'm just gonna interject to save us a bunch of time here. It turns out that when you make a car too narrow in automation, sometimes it'll stuff up and reverse the steering. So even though I was able to reverse the controls and then go into the J-beam files and reverse the steering itself, there was still some pretty big problems of, like, inverse Ackerman angle, all that sort of stuff. It was just a nightmare, so we had to basically remake the car with it. You should actually... I just started recording again because I realized that I probably should be recording the fact that I've chosen a new body and I've basically remade the entire car from scratch again. So we ended up going with a stock body, one that wouldn't cause so many issues. This one's ah, relatively narrow, but it's quite long, so it makes up for the jankness there. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to turn up the brake pads, which is something I forgot to do. As long as we have small brakes, we are good. Now, let's just uh, bring up these tire sizes so we can have a look at what our top speed is with this car. The last one did really fast as well, so I'm not surprised surprised that this one will go 218, though I think it's because this one is a little bit more aerodynamic, whereas the previous one was not aerodynamic at all. So one of the other issues is with this car is you can't have ginormous front wheels, so that sucks. That is as big as they go, basically. We go with 65s. They look a bit thick for uh, their height, but I suppose it'll have to do. But we've got uh, here again all of the gear shift stuff. I've even put on a little bit of a step, but we're going to get rid of that exhaust so we won't see that in the way. Uh, we don't have the temperature gauge up here. We've moved it over there, but maybe we will we'll put it here. Turns out I do have leather straps. Ooh, we might do this on the uh, hood then. And we're gonna call this one the Ace Grep. So all I gotta do now is put on the badge and I think this car is ready to go and take over to BMNG. I can't believe I've had to redo this. All right, here we go. We have our absolutely beastly thing. So the trade-off with having better steering and arguably a better suspension setup is the fact that I have much narrower tires now so the trade-off is real but immediately this car is so much more controllable so yeah that mod body that I was using yeah don't don't use that one just use a standard body if you're ever going to try to do something as stupid as this is but I do like it this does handle a whole lot better and I think now I am willing to say that I am ready to go over. Except I kind of want to make this narrower, which would require me to change some modeling and all that sort of stuff. But I'm so tempted, but I don't think I will. I also want to put on bigger wheels, but we're talking big, huge effort. I don't think I'm going to do that. So over to the race. Uh, you do have BMP, right? Uh, I think perhaps not. Hold on. I have, okay, I have Beam MP now. Done. <laughs> you have Beam MP now? Oh wow, we are doing well. <laughs> okay. I'm, I was worrying that I'm, I was gonna be like so unprepared for this. Thank you guys no. for being so incompetent. <laughs> okay, this is... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty much, yeah. The last multiplayer video I did with Phil did really well, so I'll take that. Thanks, Phil, for yeah, 50k views. <laughs> you got 50k Damn. views on that? Why? <laughs> Yeah. 500! Wait, <laughs> Phil, look behind you. Oh, that's a... Uh, <laughs> that's a hefty looking vehicle. Okay, let's see. Man, look at that right. thing. I'm getting a, a nice... a wheelie on dirt? dirt? No, what are, you, what are you talking about? I just it's saw your car do a wheelie. Hey, don't back into me. I'm not, I'm a professional. Professional. <laughs> uh, I mean... Oh, yeah, 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 for me, I'm going to be going up here really slow. I'm going to expect somewhere around a 15 minute lap. I hope you guys don't have anything for the rest of the day planned. <laughs> you guys going to watch Netflix. <laughs> you can either use a timer or a sundial, your choice. Three, two, one, go. All right. Here he goes. All right. That's your engine is. Oh, 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 I'm already going off the road. <laughs> we got Holy a dust shit. storm. Kind of wobbling a little bit. All right, there that we go. Difficult. Oh, that oh, it's difficult. Oh, it's not easy. This is sad. Your radiator <laughs> cap is kind of jiggling. It's really weird. Yeah, no, <laughs> it is, it is weird. It, this is pretty bad, guys. <laughs> Whoa, okay. <laughs> Sorry, this just looks really funny. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Have, like, oh, no shit. Suspension. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. 
I tested the car a little bit on the track, but I haven't driven the whole thing, so I don't know. I, I did one corner uh, and pulled it a day. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been better off doing a couple. I love how Phil's, Phil's car is literally just a death trap on wheels with like <laughs> it really is. no tires. It, is. it just looks the most absolutely terrifying. <laughs> Oh, uh, see, no. the thing is, is I watched a mini series about Ferrari, and he had a car with tires this small, and I've since then I've been like, I want to make a car in automation that has tires that small. I think today was a bad choice for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Might do third. Are you bouncing off oh, 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 the oh. rev limiter? Uh, yes. Oh shit! Shit! Oh, oh no! Oh. Do I get a reset? <laughs> Or do I, I have to start from the beginning? Like we should be able to recover the car, but it adds like a, a minute to the time. Oh god, yeah, alright. Uh, maybe like 20 seconds if we want to be a little more friendly. He is not resetting this car, he doesn't want that one. Oh, he's got the diff lock. Fuck! Man. Damn it, alright. Uh, <laughs> no, how do I no, reset, reset my car? Reset. Yeah. <sighs> if you make a large yeah. diameter compared to the tire... Can I just go straight? Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, my gosh. All right, let's just go Honestly, slower. This happening, if, if, if this was someone doing a Pike's Peak Hill Club in real life, I think everyone would be like in awe of just how disturbing. Can we just go around you, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what it was? I had my diff locks on. So I it, feel like the, uh, the pace lap is going to be really easy to beat. <laughs> Shut up! Probably, yeah. <laughs> like, like, basically, so the early cars were a wagon with an engine or a tractor. instead of a horse. I mean, they could have had horses too, but you know, just- A dual motor, kind of like a hybrid, yeah, except like it's horse, oh <laughs> petrol as opposed to- uh, Ye olde hybrid. <laughs> 1900 <laughs> hybrid. Modern day horse hybrid just has like uh, exoskeleton robot legs on the horse. Uh-oh, 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 That officially means he's about halfway up. Yeah, that is basically kind of the unofficial halfway hybrid. You're making a- you're making time. Yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. what time so far? It's no, no, 14 no, minutes and... Oh my gosh, you're Something. Really... 14 minutes. <laughs> this is oh, no. And now you know it's the slow part. Looks? Just imagining, like, the poor guys who, like, drove these cars are getting, like, oil yeah. spat all over their face and, like, bounced <laughs> up and down, like, a foot off the seat in the case of this car. Like, <laughs> just... Yeah, yeah, slap in the face. I don't think anyone with asthma can do this. Geez. So much dust. No! No! Oh, no! No! Oh, 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 I am! Full brakes! Full brakes! Oh, no, no, no! Time no. to reset. <laughs> Time to reset. Okay, oh, I reset. Man, a How far did I lose? Oh, oh. Hold on. We need some titanium. Oh, oh, you're gonna oh, keep going. Reset oh, again. No. Reset again. <laughs> no! <laughs> we'll, we'll, look, we'll count this as one reset. Just, just hold insert. Just, just hold yeah. All right. Fine. No, I mean, Phil, your time is really good. So don't worry about it at all. Your Shut time up. is excellent, bud. <laughs> yeah. With the resets, that'll be what gives us the chance. I'm, go bit. I'm going so fast. I'm going too fast. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god. Oh. 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 oh, 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 oh your vents fell off, that oh makes God. physical sense. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> second gear! Second gear! Second gear! I... I'm going so Ooh. fast! Oh, oh, my God. oh my Oh no. Call it oh, kill no. It. oh shit. Too much. Oh no, Too I broke much. my wheel off! <laughs> oh, wheel. Oh, oh, I broke a wheel off! Keep going. I just lock the diff and keep going. <laughs> I, think, I think it's safe to say, guys, the driver's probably dead at this point. He's been in so many accidents. Got flung from the guy. I have to he reset. that one, at least. Oh, oh, tank slapper, tank slapper. Now we're good. Maybe this is an Anglo thing, but what is a tank slapper exactly? Uh, yeah. You got fuel in your tanks lapping back and forth. And you, have you ever like yep. gone paddy bashing and then like the fuel slaps <laughs> around inside the tank? <laughs> Paddy bashing. What the hell is paddy bashing? Uh, what the bashing, fuck is paddy bashing? Bashing a car around in a paddock. What the fuck's a paddock? Uh, uh, parking lot, I think? Field. Oh, Farmland. Field, okay. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, we yeah, don't no, go around no, bashing like, up so Irish boring. people. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what that is. Final I corner. Final corner, I can smell I it. I have, like, Along with the smell of oil like, and like diesel or whatever the fuel oh, wow. smells like back in the day. Low quality fuel. And dirt. And dirt spraying. No, 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 no,
All right, we're coming up on the other. There's yeah. in the hay bale. All right, whoever's got the timer, be ready for this. Don't stuff this up. I'm trying. I'm trying. There I we can't go. Get to it. Uh, okay. Two, thirty minutes, seven seconds. Wow, you guys will never time. beat that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Three, two, yeah, one, I'm... go. Wow, it looks like you do get a wheelie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we all saw that. Hey, Rai, how's it oh, going? Oh, hey! No, that's, oh. that's a oh. reset. Oh. You kind of oh, just passed 20 minutes. Just passed. Oh. Okay, oh. 20 minutes and 11 seconds. Oh, the brakes. Oh, no. This is yeah. not good. Have you not driven your car yet? Okay. No. Oh, dear. At all. There you go. You did a 23... Th oh! I Okay, are you ready? I am ready, Captain. Three. I can't hear you. Two, one, go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> we ruined that entire intro of the race. Yeah, okay, I, I was uh, in a 30s car, apparently. 1635. Wow. So how do you like your car so far? It's going great so far, man. It, this thing's just an absolute dream. Why do you have vents on the to... back end of your car? Um, because I thought the um, I thought the back looked really boring, and so I just put some vents on there so there would be something to look at. Uh, okay, so it's not rear engine. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Well, what brand is the car? car? Is it? Um, I don't know that it has a brand. I actually don't even remember what it I what I called it. But uh, oh god, this car is going fast. It is actually quite it's fast. Very loud. Your curl How light is this thing? thing? It has, it has bike like tires. It's like 3,000 pounds. It's like not that light. Huh. It's got bike tires, man. It's an actual car with bike tires. Oh, you want to see bike tires? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> My god. No, but, no his, car, his, his car looks like a car. Your car You're right, like actually, it does. You're right, it does. Yeah, you, you took like a... <laughs> yeah. You took something from the 40s. That's not fair. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Totally cheated. The Volvo 360 just looks like a Kmart version of the Dodge Omni. Oh, well, let's see what happened here. I ran out of disk space. Oh, no. I, uh, that, that happened to me earlier. I had to do an emergency clearing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I had to uninstall automation so I can actually record well, this. We can pause thought, right so here. Like, Marcus, okay, if you just want to stop. No, 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 no. Let's play. I, I think Marcus, you <laughs> should stop so then uh, he can go do a, a quicker raise. No, 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 just stop, no, 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 stop right it. here. St yeah, there you go. Good. <laughs> okay, take off. How many seconds? I'm joking. I'm joking. Oh my god, you bastard! I can't believe you fell for that! <laughs> yeah, he literally just stopped on a race track. Um. <laughs> we're good, we're good. Well, well, he, he made it over the 60s the way I did. It oh, no. made me mess up. Like that. He's laughing now. Can't drive while laughing. Wow, wow, hey, wow, the guy who didn't know what Beam MP was was gullible. Look at that. <laughs> Oh, dear. All right, here we go. And... Yeah, 21 something, maybe. On my screen, 2049. So, yeah, Cesare, you won by a considerable margin. Yay. Then uh, following up in second comes Rai. Then in third comes Venz. Then Marcus. Then way back at last, Yay. me. All right, are we ready? Oh, I can't see. Just go. Alright, let's go. go. Yeah, we're just going. <laughs> I'm not even on the road, dude! I can't see shit. I literally can't see anything. Oh god, I've, I've spun. Oh, did, what reset. happened? Oh god. Oh. Oh. I think, ah! okay, I think shit. we gotta reset everything. Everyone's dead. <laughs> restart, okay, alright. Restart. I was fine. And I'm crossing the line in first yeah, place. Yeah, I knew you spawned up here. I was like, there I There we go. Happened. Yep. And first. Oh, look at me. I won, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's oh. horrificness. Yeah. <laughs> I'll catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Oh,